and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to make this video real quick because um, I'm subscribed to this YouTuber called IBX Toy Cat, and he does like Minecraft news and stuff like that. And uh, yesterday he uploaded a video, and it, it has one of the worst takes, like one of the worst, like worst, like you know. I guess it's hard. To, I don't know if it's hard to take if he just like learn and then instantly record the video, but just like he has like one of the worst takes I have heard in quite a long time. Um, now I'm not gonna uh, condone anybody going to his channel and harassing him or anything like that. That you know that is obviously bad and that. Um, yeah, but it's like, I do vehemently disagree with one what his uh, one of his takes in this video, um, but uh, he, you know, don't don't just don't harass and I don't don't be a dickhead, dickhead. Just you know, he can, he can have all the bad takes he wants, but that's no excuse to harass him or um, bully him or anything like that. Anyway. So now that has been said, let's actually get to the video and exactly why this take is so bad. Um, so this is video, Minecraft is no longer for sale in Russia. Yeah, so I'm just going to let him explain uh, everything real quick. I, well, it's something I don't like. Separate from this, like, something I never really got is like, why does Russia, a communist state, sell a capitalist American company's products? This is like, yeah, anyway, just something I never really got. Same for China. Chinese are like communists, but they're just like one of the most capitalist countries. Anyway. Uh, when 
whenever you know countries go to war and do stuff, we insist on getting you know the bottom of the rung first. Like we try to attack the lowest people on the totem pole. But that's what we're doing with the Minecraft thing. You know, like sure, there might be a millionaire out there who's really disappointed they can't get their hands on this one thing. But you're mostly just disappointing you know Russian people, country over, who now won't be able to play Minecraft. And the reason I think, even if we don't care about the morality of removing it, and we're just saying yeah, let's do the maximum economic damage, I think that this is not a good decision even with that taken into light because bear in mind minecraft is a multiplayer game minecraft is a collaborative game and in general is a force for good in the world sure you might be able to make some really niche arguments that well because uh, they built chernobyl inside of minecraft uh, the russians could use that to make an invasion plan and <laughs> it'd be funny if we ever found out that was true however i think what is much more true is that people from russia play minecraft with people from the rest of the world if not necessarily on the same servers and directly on the same worlds together uh, then at the very least it's part of that same gaming community right and why would you try to cut them off from this why would you try to Wait take one of these issues the whole world is pretty much on unanimous agreement with even inside of russia it's not like there's huge support for we want another country's citizens to die so that we can achieve our military objectives i don't think that's what they're thinking i think the majority of people are into some form of propaganda where they're like wow there there really is a special operation going on over there thank god that we're doing the right thing and getting rid of those bad people uh, to help out our friends in ukraine because again they are very close countries i think that this is the issue that you don't solve by taking away information this is an issue that you can solve by giving access to more i think one of the big reasons we've seen well the pot right so i'm gonna stop this here real quick i says otherwise i'm just gonna be piling up way too much for me to talk about all at one so basically um the so it was like his first point was basically well you're why why are we going after the lowest the like uh lowest run on the power being the um citizens and that's because um sit uh the citizens you can't really wage a war if you know your citizens are rebelling if we go back again uh a great uh, actually a great uh, um what's the word um example of this is russia themselves in the past back in the past i believe it was during world war one uh if i remember correctly back when the czar was still in power um they were losing world war one very badly like they were getting their asses handed to them the military was struggling on the front lines and the uh, civil unrest was growing in russia and because all of the military were fighting on the front lines there was nobody to uh, keep the uh, russian people in line and it, uh, um and the police there's just not enough police to keep all all of the russians that from rebelling so um basically uh because of that the czar had to abdicate the throne and this is uh, the kind of uh, um outcome they want to influence because um by taking away luxuries and uh, uh like video games um more like you know, like foreign imports and stuff like that and crashing their economy the russian people are going to get more and more restless meaning that they are more and more likely to um, protest and rebel and riot which while russia is at war at war even if they don't have all of their the entirety of their military dedicated to ukraine uh while they are fighting a war in ukraine which right now they are currently losing um even though they've dedicated i believe it was 92 percent of their uh, uh of the percent of their military that was on the border to the war um meaning they're gonna have to send in a lot more military uh, to uh, fight against ukraine um that then means that they that if there was civil unrest and riots in the streets that means russia will be very ill prepared and ill equipped to deal with the civil unrest meaning that if even if the rioting and civil unrest does not in the end topple putin it does mean that putin will have less we will i will have to choose between dedicating more resources to the war in ukraine 
or dedicating resources to quelling the rebellions and riots and all and the civil unrest um and that's essentially the idea of just like all of these companies um boycotting russia and it, uh, um yeah the more companies we see do this like um if coca-cola pepsi and mcdonald's the three big companies who have not uh you know stopped selling goods to russia if they um stop selling goods to russia that means uh russians who like coke pepsi and mcdonald's would grow you know would be uh, un would become unrested and they'd be angry and who are they going to blame blame for this not probably not to mcdonald's coke or pepsi because uh, they're just reacting to putin what Pu putin has done so uh, uh they're probably gonna be angry at putin and uh, you know they're probably gonna riot or uh protest against putin because um and uh, and we already see it there have been protests in russia and obviously the police have arrested the protesters but that is sign showing that we are successfully creating civil unrest in russia um and just like removing uh, the luxuries of playing minecraft while uh, um that may not affect m you know the military because the russian military is probably not playing minecraft um it is affecting the people and it, uh, oh i can't remember who said this but i believe a i think i believe a military guy once said that the backbone of a country is the civilian are uh, the civilians the people if the people do not agree with a war and uh, you know then that war cannot happen because they're just gonna riot and they're gonna protest and if you treat the people poorly then the military is not gonna like you because 90 percent of the reason why the military fights is to protect the people so if you're actively hating the people then there's going to be then you're going to create unrest within the military and if the military turns on you at that point you're fucked no matter who you are no matter what country you are if you do not have the support of the people you do not have the support of the military if you do not have the support of the military you are fucked end of story and it, uh, you know go go back to any country that any like dictatorship or anything that has been toppled that is essentially the 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 um way it happens the people the people start rebelling and obviously the military you know they're not going to want to open fire on their own people or because they are from that land they probably and you know they are they have their own opinions and everything and they are individuals then the military is probably uh, you know going to grow on the rest of them probably not going to want to open fire on civilians meaning that they're going to turn on the leader because they see that the leader is causing all the all the civil unrest and all the problems again like what happened with the uh tsar in russia back in world war one um because of all the civil unrest um the tsar's military leaders met up with the tsar and said you bet uh you should abdicate the throne like you like yeah at, there is a point where because of the civil unrest the military will just abandon their leaders uh, if not just tell them outright it's time for you to uh, give up your power we have seen this happen in history and uh, um now we have uh ways to accelerate the pr the uh, process of a country's civilians you know fighting you know rebelling against the uh dictators um and again that's just what this is doing like people who play who like to play minecraft in russia uh or want to buy minecraft in russia are going to be unhappy because they're just like oh we can't play minecraft anymore because uh, putin wants to invade ukraine because he has uh, because he's uh, got uh, an insane dream of reviving the russian empire um yeah and that's essentially it so many fewer conflicts in the last few decades and 
offloads to a complex that's generally just a massive country going in and steamrolling a smaller one is because of the fact that it is so much harder to push propaganda because you don't control the narrative. The whole reason we saw the Arab Spring... And yeah, Minecraft is not a source of um, information for anybody. Like, if you get your um, global news from Minecraft, I would probably say you should look into getting a more reliable source of news. Like, uh, even then, um, if you want to, if you want any non Putin approved news, you're probably going to need to learn English. And I dare say the amount of people who play, my, amount of Russians who play Minecraft and, all, and are also fluent in English are very few. And then you also have to overlap the people who. The Russians who play Minecraft, who are fluent in English, and to get their news from Minecraft, yeah, I doubt this is going to really harm the new, you know, in the information flow into Russia. Many countries remove their authoritarian governments is because no longer, as an authoritarian, do you have access to control the means of your population. The only place that that is generally considered to be true is North Korea, because they literally are cut off from the internet. And so, why would yeah. we do our bit? Mm. Take a, a man who is at the very least not very fond of democracy, and why would we do their job for them? I mean, if again, with who gets the news from Minecraft, like taking away Minecraft from Russia is not going to reduce the amount of information going into Russia, uh, at least by any significant margin. Um, so we're not like again. You, Again, they have the internet, like, probably not for long, in, because Putin's probably going to cut the internet off any day now, uh, thanks to the protests, and you, we all know what follow protests, and that's riots, um, so he's probably going to cut off the internet, uh, which, yeah, so, this whole point about... Removal of Minecraft is not a very effective sanction, and the reason you can tell yeah. is because, uh, do you remember that one point where Turkey was considering banning Minecraft because it was too violent? Um, if Turkey had done so, they wouldn't be sanctioning themselves, right? They'd just be trying to encourage it. Um, yeah, Turkey did, uh, for, some e for some reason, think Minecraft was too violent and they'd uh, uh, considered banning it, but it's just like, that would have still hurt their economy. Like, just because, just because you're saying, like, there are people in the world that are masochistic and like to hurt themselves. This would be essentially saying that just because there are people who hurt themselves, that then means that people w wouldn't purposely hurt themselves, so they so then people don't feel pain from what we know would hurt them. You know, you, you get what I'm saying. Like, somebody like cutting themselves to hurt themselves, that's like saying that person, people don't typically hurt themselves, so uh, it must not hurt somebody to cut themselves. That doesn't really make sense, does it? People aren't infallible and neither are governments. So um, just because a government would do something that would hurt their economy or hurt their uh, people, uh, whether or not they meant to do so, um, you know, say, meaning, oh, well, if they were willing to do that, then it must not be a bad thing then, it's just like, it just because a, but just because a com country was willing to hurt themselves, doesn't mean that it's not gonna hurt them. And even then, they uh, ruled against it, so if there really was no downsides to banning Minecraft from Turkey, they wouldn't have gone through the time and resources and effort to uh, have gone through all the legal stuff to decide whether or not to ban it, they would just be like, oh, well, there's no really harm, there's no real harm in banning it, and uh, according to this, it may cause harm to not ban it, so we're just going to ban it. So, obviously, they looked at it and was like, well, it does more harm than good to ban it, so we're not going to ban it. Yeah, and like I said, if there was really no downside to not banning Minecraft from Turkey, 
they would have probably done it. Like, so there was, so they probably looked at it and it's like, there is more of a downside to banning this than not banning it, which means that the, um, that it was more desirable to them to not ban Minecraft than to ban Minecraft, meaning that, you know, they, they want Minecraft, so you get what I'm saying here. Again, this isn't so much um, hurting to hurt the economy, but it's to cause civil unrest amongst the people. Um, and you could also argue that there are um, Russian uh, people that make Minecraft maps that get that gets bought and sold on the Minecraft on the Mine Store. Meaning, if there's less, you know, uh, if there's uh, if they ban Russian Russians from there, then that would impact the economy, which I don't think they've done yet, but they might want to look into doing that if they can. Again, who's getting their information from Minecraft? This is the part I have a really big problem with. Like, all the bit before is like, yeah, flawed argument, but sure. But essentially here... He is saying that removing the ability to buy Minecraft in Russia is equivalent to what Russia is doing. Which, if you don't know, in Ukraine, Russia are bombing civilian, civilian houses and killing thousands of civilians. Now, I should not have to say this to anybody, but Removing the ability to purchase Minecraft is not equivalent to the murder of millions of innocent people. Holy shit. That is a bad take. Again, the people of a country have a lot of impact on um, their leaders. Like again, if if you don't have the support of the people, then you don't have the support of the military. If you don't have the support of the military, you're fucked. Um, we've already seen that there have been protests in Russia, so it's obviously at least working somewhat to cause civil unrest. Um, so, yeah, you're just wrong. Um, wouldn't it be better if we 
work for better ones here. Or maybe that's just... I think until we start uh, purposely bombing civilian buildings and killing thousands and thousands of inno innocent civilians, I'm, I'd say we're safely in, on the side of the good guys. Like, I, I sh I, this shouldn't be something I have to say, but again, killing innocent civilians, which again is a war crime, is not equal to stopping the sales of Minecraft in, like seriously. Like I said, nothing abhor abhorrently reprehensible, but it is just an incredibly bad take, and it shows IBX, it, sh it shows Toy Cat's just lack of understanding of the current situation between Russia and Ukraine, and how um, politics and civil unrest and the you know, just the military works, like, seriously, like, I, he's, he's Minecraft, he is a Minecraft news guy, so he should, I don't blame him for, like, saying that you can no longer buy, report the news that you can no longer buy Minecraft in Russia because Russia is at war with Ukraine and Microsoft and Mojang do not support the war, but he shouldn't he just went wittering on about a bunch of crap he didn't know a shit about and it, uh, he just made a bunch of like bad takes here and this isn't bear in mind this isn't a video calling him out because you know he has the right to be completely uninformed on something and babble on about it. like Everybody knows Joe Rogan babbles on about shit he doesn't know fuck all about, and he's got how many millions of followers? Um, but there are clearly people who agree with, like, 4.7 thousand people listen to this misinformed, well, not even misinformed, la un uninformed dribble. I was like, yes! I agree with that, like, again, they're within their rights to agree with any amount of mindless dribble that anyone um, spews from their mouth. But then, uh, but me and the 169, hold on, let's refresh this page, me and the 176 other people who dislike this video are 175 other people, 176 is including me, uh, people are also free to disagree with the 4.8 thousand people and IBX Toy Cat and uh, I am also um, free to um, voice my uh, Disapproval of Toy Cat as Toy Cat is fr as Toy Cat is free to dis to voice his disapproval of uh, ceasing the sales of Minecraft and uh, um yeah uh he, he, like again nothing he's he's not said anything morally reprehensible just horribly uninformed and he clearly showed a lack of knowing what the goal is here and how effective creating civil unrest can be and has been in the past it's including in Russia and that uh, uh, there's lots of other time 
times when civil unrest can has just like brought down leaders like i used what i used russia during world war one with the czar as an example um but there are others like uh the uh, uh viva revolution in france and uh, the revolution in france it brought down the monarchy and then ate itself alive twice um and yeah um so you could put and the, the, um then there was also and then going and then going forward to the world war two with um italy and the, the, um oh what's his name oh what was his name i'm bad with names uh italy's dictator in world war two ah hold on what was the italian dictator in world war two Mussolini, yes, Mussolini. Um, when World War Two started turning um, on Mussolini and the Italians, the Italian people and the Italian military um, just stopped fighting, and it got so bad that Hitler had to send in uh, his military to um, secure Italy. I mean, to keep. Uh, the British and Americans from just walking in and taking Italy. Um, so civil unrest and like and Mussolini did get toppled by his own fascist party as well because of the civil unrest. Um, so yeah, civil unrest has been very has been very effective within just the past couple hundred years. Like. Seriously, um, actually, the French Revolution was more than a couple hundred years ago, I believe. That was well, actually it wasn't actually that long ago because it was after America. So I believe the king was still in power in France when America awful was revolt. Yeah, was revolting against the British um, and getting their independence. So yeah the french monarchy fell after the around the same time as america fought for its independence well actually probably just after because yeah um and that was around the first time we were fighting uh, napoleon i believe yeah because napoleon was around before the french revolution so yeah actually the french revolution didn't happen that, that long ago uh when i think about it um but yeah uh d never doubt civil unrest like um there is a reason like there, there is obviously a reason why um in the con constitution it allows americans to bear arms because then if there is a lot of civil unrest they have the chance of overthrowing like any corrupts like um you know, government that has come into power, um, which is sort of backfiring a little bit on the Americans nowadays because they never really thought guns would be as efficient killing machines as they are today, uh, back then. But he who has a debate for another day. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, I really just. Yeah, it's just a bad take. I'm, he's just clearly uninformed on history and stuff like that. Like, um, or maybe I could I could also be wrong. Maybe he's not informed and he is aware of these past, um, you know, events, but he just never considered them when he heard about this or whatever. But again, it's just a bad, bad take. Um. But yeah, um, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video um, and found it at least somewhat informative on 
um, what's going on with like Russia and Ukraine and why um, we are, why the West is trying to create civil unrest and crash their economy and how effective civil unrest can be uh, has been historically speaking and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you have any other points or opinions I may have uh, missed in this video, feel free to put them down in the comment section and I'll be, and I'll be sure to reply to them. Um, but yeah, um, uh, and yeah, right now I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to title the video. Um, probably something like IBX Toy Cat is misinformed, uninformed, or wrong, something along those lines, but yeah, um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys all did enjoy the video, I hope to see you guys in my next video or live stream or whatever I decide to do, and bye bye